Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profodic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hooks tutorial for beginners. This is our part 6. In this video session guys, we will discuss about action hook called admin bar menu. And these are the two toolings guys actually you can follow to get the documentation about this action hook. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress hooks tutorial. So basically guys, what is action hook called admin bar menu? Okay, so if you go to administrator panel So basically this is called admin bar here. We have options called WP with jQuery UI called visit site new which have some links and this is called the admin panel of our profile section okay so this is the panel actually called the admin bar okay so if you want to suppose add our own custom options right here so how can we achieve that so by using action hook called admin bar menu and a method is called add node by the help of those functions we can actually implement our custom nodes right here okay so how can we make that so just back to editor so far guys by the help of a plugin we actually learning about wordpress hooks okay we have seen several things about inside this plugin okay so in the previous video session guys we have seen about the assets file linking with the admin section as well as with the front end section okay so let me comment all these things so basically we are learning about admin bar menu so let's make a function function let's owt custom bar menu okay this is our function and now we are going to attach with the action called add action this is called admin bar menu okay and now we have to call this function right here as the callback function in the second parameter okay in the third parameter we need to pass guys a priority of the execution of this callback function okay so let me pass triple nine this is the priority of this action hook calling okay Next, inside this callback function, guys, we need to attach some of the methods to attach any node at the admin bar. Okay, so inside this callback function, guys, we have to pass a pari parameter called WP admin bar. Okay, so by the help of this object, basically, this is an object. By the help of this object, we are going to call a method called add node. Okay, so basically, let's declare a variable called arguments, and this will be an array. Okay by putting some values inside this array we have to actually pass this argument section inside wp admin bar there is a method called add node okay so basically we have to pass this argument section inside this method next what are the values that we have to pass inside argument section okay so first of all let's pass a unique id of our custom menu system or menu title okay so this first parameter should be id so let's say that owt blog okay finally let's we have to pass some title for that so title let's say that online web tutor okay next parameter let's say href okay we are going to make some links okay so href so just back to browser let me open call online this is the blog so just i'm going to copy this url go to editor and now let's pass that okay so this is the blog url next parameter we are going to pass some meta values okay so let's say meta inside this meta we have to make an array okay inside this array if we suppose we want to bind some of the classes to this menu item so let's say class let's say that owt custom blog okay next parameter we can attach according to our need okay so if we suppose save this right now what we have made we have made an argument section with some values inside this array we have passed these values to this method called add node add node met method we have called by the help of this object which we have passed inside this function okay so if suppose we save this file go to administrator panel reload this page so far we can see that guys this is the custom node that we have made okay if you hover on that you can see at the bottom section at the bottom section right here is the link of our blog okay so if suppose we click on this link it will actually redirect the blog at the current menu tab okay so if you want to suppose open up in the next next tab so just back to editor so now we have to attach a target element okay so inside this meta section just put a comma and let's say target equal to we want to be in next tab okay so it should be blank okay so if you go to administrator panel reload this page and now once we click on this online web tutor we get our blog on into the next tab okay this is online web tutor so 
basically this is the section guys that we have made by using called admin bar menu action hook so if we inspect that so as we can see this is the class that we have added inside meta section okay called OWT custom class custom blog this is the class actually we have added right here and this is the target section we have attached if we find inside this anchor tag called type target equal to blank so this is the section guys that we have studied that how can we add our custom node right here at the admin bar menu also we can add at the child menus if we hover on new section as we can see there are several sub menus okay so if we want to suppose make these sub menus to our online web tutor so how can we make that so if you go to editor so now let's say that we are going to add some of the sub menus okay so let's say that sub menu 1 okay it should be array inside this array we have to pass some of the parameters okay and finally we need to actually pass that sub menus values inside this add node method okay so let me pass that inside this sub menus guide we have to pass same values okay one more parameter to bind with the sub menu as called parent okay so let's say id this is owt sub menu one okay and let's say title called sub menu one okay and href let's say that or let's say that this is for the google section okay so if we get rid of that let's say google https something called www.google.com okay so if we close this inspect Next, we have to attach one more parameter inside this submenu because we are going to make this submenu as the child of this parent. Okay, so we have to pass called parent as a parameter, and inside this parent, we have to pass the ID. Okay, so let me copy this ID, pass here, and let me pass that submenu inside this add node method. Okay, so if we save this file, go to administrator panel, reload this page. So once we hover on online web Twitter, here's the link called Google. Okay. So if suppose we want to make some call something called YouTube. So just make copy of all these things. Paste again. And let's say that YouTube. First we have to change the ID. Okay. This is the important thing. Okay. And this is called instead of Google, let's say YouTube. OWT blog. This is the parent. Okay. And this is our submenu too this is we have to pass inside add node method okay so just save this file go to browser reload this page so once we hover on our custom node called online web tutor these are the links that we have made okay so successfully guys by the help of this admin bar menu we have studied about that how can we actually know add our custom node okay as well as we have seen that if you want to suppose if we want to add our custom child nodes then we can actually by the help of these add node methods and by the use of parameter called parent we actually add these sub menu to our parent add node okay so i think guys i have made much more clear concept about the action who called admin bar menu so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day